The reddish aigrettes are certainly one of my favorite herons. And it's not only because of their beautiful silhouette and the amazing colors of their feathers, but also because of their expressiveness. I know it is hard to imagine that birds can have facial expressions or body language, but these egrets do. Reddish egrets are not easy to find because their habitat is quite restricted. They are only found in some of the southern states in the US, where there are less than 2,000 nesting pairs. They are also residents of Central America and the Caribbean, and some migrate in the winter to the coast of Colombia and Venezuela. They feed on algae, insects, frogs, fish, and crustaceans. The reddish egrets have unique characteristics. Some of them are not even red. They are completely white and we can tell them apart from the other white herons by the color of their beak, which is dark red, and especially by the way they fish. They do not walk slowly to observe their prey or sit motionless on the edge of the water and wait for their prey to come close by. The reddish egrets, on the other hand, have developed a beautiful and fascinating dance to fish. They jump, run, spin, twirl in the air, spread their wings.
finally pull a fish out of the water. After several months of observing, photographing, and filming them, I have come to a very personal conclusion. They love to dance. I read many theories about why they fish this way, but I do not agree completely with them. It seems to me this is not a survival strategy. Even though they do get some food this way, but to me this is not the most efficient way to eat. I believe some birds fly for pleasure. They take the air currents and just float. Maybe the reddish egrets dance is just a way to enjoy their lightweight body, the seawater, and the ocean breeze. Mm -hmm.